Okay, the next problem we want to solve is to compute the exact value of the sine of 75 degrees. Um, now, uh, the, the thing to um, recognize here is that 75 is equal to 30 plus 45, and 30 degrees and 45 degrees are two of the special angles. We know both the sine and the cosine exactly for both 30 and 45 degrees. So um, we can use that along with our sum formula um, to compute this uh, value exactly. So I'm going to set x equal to 30 degrees. Uh, hopefully you've kind of got these memorized by now, but if you are um, a little bit rusty. So um, the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, and the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. So we can plug these in. This is 1 half here. Cosine of 30 degrees um, is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. And now we're ready to just do the arithmetic. So we have 1 over 2 root 2 plus uh, root 3 over 2 root 2. And we by good luck have a common denominator already so that's 1 plus root 3 over 2 root 2 and it may be that uh, Alex would accept this answer. Uh, in the old days um, it definitely would not have been accepted because it has a, 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 a square root in the denominator. So the way you get rid of the square root in the denominator should you so choose is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 2. So this is just 1. I'm multiplying this um, fraction by 1. And don't forget that a fraction bar acts like a set of parentheses. So this root 2 distributes to both of those pieces. So I've got root 2 times the quantity 1 plus root 3 over... Now, root 2 times root 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So that's a 4 right there. And, you know, that's one way of writing it. Another way you could distribute the root 2 across that sum. Root 2 times 1 is root 2. And uh, root 2 times root 3 is root 6. And that's divided by 4. So there you go. That is the sine of 75 degrees. There's a couple of ways that we could confirm this. Uh, the first would be that we could simply get a decimal approximation for this fraction. So let's go with that. I'll take um, root 2 divided by 4 and I get about uh, 9659. Let's have a look at the sine of 75 degrees. Now we want to make sure we're in the right mode. So um, Let's, and we were not, good thing I checked, switch over to degrees, and then we'll take the sine of 75 degrees, and those match, actually all of the, all of the decimals showing match, so that confirms it. Um, there is another way you might do this, so another option would be to um, start with this number and take the inverse sign and see if I get back to 75 degrees. Now that's going to work in this case because um, 75 degrees is its own reference angle. In, in general, if we'd started with, with something outside of the first quadrant, we would get the reference angle, not this angle itself. But in this case, we don't have that complication, so we could give it a try. Um, you'd have um, second square root of 2 plus square root of 6, divide that by 4, and uh, there's, our, there's our proposed sine value, so take the inverse sine of that number, and we do get, in this case, it came back to exactly 75. Uh, we would have been happy if it would have been uh, uh, 74 and a few nines. Okay, so um, that's how you find the exact value of, of any angle where you can easily break this down to a sum or difference of angles for which you know um, 
trig functions exactly. So um, let me let me mention just one more then. Um, what would we do if we wanted to know the sine of 15 degrees? Well, uh, in that case, we'd say 15 degrees. We could get that this way. It's 45 degrees minus 30 degrees, and then we have a um, we have a trigonometric identity for that. Now, on this sheet here, there isn't one for a negative, but it's real easy to get. If if you put a minus y in here, you replace y by minus y. Well, cosine is even, so this one doesn't change. Sine is odd, so the minus sign comes through, and you get this with a minus in it. So, okay, so all i got to do now is plug in my values. Sine of 45 degrees, I have computed that before. It's 1 over root 2. And cosine of 30 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 minus cosine of 45 degrees. Uh, cosine of 45 degrees is 1 over root 2. And sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. And we get something very similar to what we had before, except we're going to be subtracting. So uh, let's uh, let's get it over 4 since that works nicely. Multiply up and down by root 2 here, so I have root 6 over, now when I multiply by root 2 here, I have 2 times 2, 4. And here I multiply up and down by root 2. Root 2 over um, 2 times 2 is 4. So we get root 6 minus root 2 over 4. Uh, very similar to this, but we've got a difference, and that should be the cosine or the sine of 15 degrees. So um, let's give it a try. Um, gives me that value and the sine of 15 degrees is also that value. So it is confirmed. So um, that's how we deal with um, that's how we deal with. Uh, angles that can be readily expressed as the sum or difference of, of two of the special angles um, uh, by means of the sum or difference formula. Now, of course, you could you could apply this to um, 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 in more than one step. So now I have the sine of 15 degrees. Um, I could use a half angle formula and find the um, uh, exact value of the sine of seven and a half degrees. And having done that, I could add uh, sine of 30, I could have the sine of, of 37 and a half degrees because it would be the sine of 30 plus the sine of seven and a half. So by taking multiple steps, you can get um, exact values for lots and lots of, uh, of, of uh, combinations of the um, uh, the uh, standard uh, angles that we've learned exact values for.